Afro DJ Mac here, back again to talk to you about side chaining in Ableton Live. And today we're going to talk about the gig. So let's just uh, silence up some of my tracks here and show you what's going on here. Right now I have this synth here. Um, this is what it sounds like without the gate. Just playing these MIDI notes. So this gate is set up to listen to these hi-hats on this track, which you don't hear yet. So this is what I have a hi-hat track. I want these hi-hats to trigger this sound. So the way I do this is I put my gate on here. Let's open this back up. I'm going to put a gate on, and I'm going to turn on side chaining. You open the side chaining with this arrow. So I turn on side chaining, and I'm selecting hi-hat close. That's this right here, since I want it to listen to that. And I'm going to put it to post FX this time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be muting my hi-hat. So if I were to put this to post mixer, it's going to listen to the hi-hats after they've already been muted. So as you can see, I'm playing that now and nothing's happening. This is not getting through to here. So I'm going to set that to post FX or even pre FX, but I'll do post. And now, as these hi-hat hit, it opens my synth. And I have a little delay on there, but I'll take that off. The delay delays this gate, so it gives a nice kind of lingering thing going on there. But you can use anything really to trigger the gate on here. Now you can do this with a clip like I have here. So this clip plays these MIDI notes, right? And these MIDI notes here are triggering my robot sound here. Or I could turn this off and I could just play the notes myself on a MIDI controller. So you could in real time trigger another part just like this. Super awesome. The side chain gate is such a great effect. I like the little delay after it. Gives it this like kind of organic life afterwards. And we'll uh, put everything else in and see what we got. Turn off that hi-hat. Hope that helps. Enjoy. Enjoy. 